Hello and welcome to Serial at Midnight. I'm Heath and this is a huge one. We are unboxing Shawscope Volume 2 from Arrow Video. And I've got this well ahead of street date. Uh, I think the street date for this is now December 6th. 2022. Uh, I'm recording this at the end of September. I've managed to to get my copy early, so I thought this was a great opportunity to have one of, if not the first, unboxing videos on YouTube. Um, it, if I'll, I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can pre-order this or just order it if you're seeing it after <clears throat> the uh, the street date, and uh, we're going to discover this together. As you see, it's still sealed. I wanted to unbox this on camera so we can discover it together. It is the sequel to the Shosko Volume 1 box set, but what's interesting is since we unboxed this, which I'll link to in the description of this video as well, since we unboxed uh, Shosko Volume 1, uh, we found out via a representative of Arrow that these were conceived as one big 26 movie box set, and they quickly realized that it wasn't feasible, so uh, they were split into two. The first two volumes are going to focus mostly on the the kung fu, you know, martial arts movies, but not the, you know, there's other things here as well. Uh, but future volumes, you know, all but confirmed, volumes three and four. So the the representative said in in the future volumes they want to get further away from the martial arts movies because Shaw did a lot of different kinds of movies. So uh, these are these are the hooks, I guess, to get us invested in Shaw scope, and I am right there with it. So. 14 movies on uh, Blu-ray. The first eight discs are the movies, and then the la there's disc nine and disc ten are CDs with the music from these films. I don't here. Let me get the plastic off of this. I know that's creating a glare. We we have embarked on the. We are past the point of no return now. Once the plastic wrap comes off, once the cellophane wrap comes off, that's it. You can't go back. All right. So here is a good look at this. Hopefully, I'll export this in 4K. So that hopefully you can read that if you want to freeze frame that, read every little bit of text. But we are about to go through this. I want to see what's under this J card. Presumably also, this is the only difference between the Region A and the Region B release. Because uh, these discs, I believe, and this, this is marked Region, Region A. I think they just put that on the J card so for the different territories. But I, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what we're looking at here. So here's the... Uh, the box itself, let's compare. It's beautiful, okay. As is the case with the first volume, we have our book in, in wide Shaw scope form. It's, it's interesting with these, these, the names for what is essentially just like, you know, the, the widescreen two, three, five, uh, aspect ratio Shaw scope is sort of the um, the process that they used here for these movies. That's the, the the name that they would be known as. All right, let's check them out together. So the first disc, the thirty sixth thirty sixth thirty sixth chamber of Shaolin, uh, brand new four K restoration by Celestial Pictures, high definition Blu-ray presentation, newly restored uncompressed Mandarin Cantonese and English mono, newly translated English subtitles. That's actually really these are. Not a lot of people talk about the newly translated subtitles, but I think that's great because they've been newly for increased accuracy, which I appreciate. You ever watch like a, a dub with the subtitles and you're like, oh, those are way off. So these are going to be closer. Um, let's see. Brand new commentary by critic, uh, critic Travis Crawford. New, new um, let's see, select scene commentary by film critic and historian Tony Raines. Tony Raines, I want to say this, the level of scholarship for these uh, releases, Tony Raines is, is a scholar himself, and so many of the people associated with these releases on the special feature side are scholars. It's fun to watch the movies, and they're, they're not meant to, you know, they are entertainment, but we get the best of both worlds because we also get this these deep, deep looks at the studios and the actors from people that really know exactly what they're talking about. Uh, interview with, uh, go here. Tell you what, I'm just going to hold this up and you can read that. Because I can't read 10 discs worth of content to you when you can read it yourself. I know that'd be, that doesn't make for a great video, right? So, but I will glance at Cinema Hong Kong. It, uh, this is one of the things I was excited about is um, the Cinema Hong Kong three-part documentary series. So part one was here. I had speculated that part two would be on this, this set 
and that maybe we were looking at a three volume set that they would put part part one part two and then part three of the cinema hong kong documentary series that's not the case parts two and three are in this volume so they're wrapping that up and then we embark into other other territories with future releases uh cinema hong kong sword fighting the second installment in a three-part documentary series produced by celestial pictures who's the rights holder for these films in 2003 um alternate opening credits that's great all right so here we have return to the 36th chamber and disciples of the 36th 13 i have a hard time saying that word return and disciples so that's going to be two movies on one disc high definition presentation uncompressed cantonese newly translated uh, subtitles interview from 2003 citizen shaw a french tv documentary from 1980 directed by maurice friedland in which Sir Run Run Shaw gives an all-access tour of the Shaw Brothers' backlot. A backlot tour, you guys. Here on the scaffolding, an archive feature produced by Celestial Pictures. Alternate. Great. Uh, Mad Monkey Kung Fu and Five Super Fighters. Sharing a disc. Brand new 2K restorations. Okay, so hold on. So uh, 36 Chamber was a 4K restoration. Uh... The looks like Return to the 36th Chamber and Disciples of the 36th Chamber are uh, existing HD masters because it doesn't say that they're new. But we do have a brand new 2K master that was also talked about from the Arrow representative is that they had originally intended to restore every single one of these movies, but they realized it was kind of that was cost prohibitive. But hopefully, moving forward with three and four and wherever it goes, they do hope to do new masters for every single one of these movies. Uh, so new 2K restoration for Mad Monkey. No, both both of these films, new 2K restoration. Same language options. New film appreciation of Mad Monkey Kung Fu by Tony Raines. Interviews. Shaw in the USA. A brand new featurette. Brand new. On how Shaw Brothers broke America. Uh, featuring Grady Hendrix and Chris Pugliali. Authors of These, Fist Bake, These Fists Break Bricks. Wonderful here. Hold that up. What's next? <clears throat> Invincible Shaolin and the Kid with the Golden Arm. And we have a new 2K restoration of both films. It's uncompressed, original, different audio options. Interview with actor-director Robert Tai from the 2003. Poison Clan Rocks the World. A brand new video essay on the Venom Mob written and narrated by Terrence J. Brady, author of Alexander Fusheng, Biography of the Chinatown Kid. That's been one of my discoveries for uh, Volume 1, is getting to see Alexander Fusheng, uh, someone I wasn't overly familiar with. And that's something that I can also say, since I've unboxed the first Shaw Scope box set, I've been posting reviews for the movies as I go through them. Uh, I guess there's about a half a dozen reviews now that, I've, that are written at serialatmidnight.com. Uh, discovering Alexander Fusheng has been a great joy for me. And one of the things that we need to talk about when we have a conversation about these movies is that they, this is really getting them out there for the larger Western audience because these movies have not been, even in their native area, their native, their original release territories, uh, some of these movies have been really obscure because the Shaw catalog after that heyday of the 70s and into the 80s, some of these movies just went on a shelf. They weren't even on VHS. So when some of these guys talk about you can hear it in some of the commentaries. They're like, these no, nobody really... Like, Alexander Fusheng was not a household name because people didn't... There's a generation, actually probably two generations, that didn't grow up with him and they never saw those movies. So this is putting... We're so lucky, you guys, to, to, to be live right now when all this stuff is hitting. We're very blessed. Uh, Poison Clan Rocks the World, alternate textless uh, title sequence, trailer, great. All right. Uh, Magnificent Ruffians and Ten Tigers of Kwang Tung. Kwang Tung. Here, there's the art. There's the features. What do we have here? Brand new 2K. Well, most of these are restored. Brand new 2K restoration is both films. Uncompressed, Mandarin, newly translated English subtitles, uh, Rivers and Lakes, a brand new video essay on Shaw Brothers' depiction of Chinese myth and history, written and narrated by Jonathan Clements, author of A Brief, Brief History of China, Hong Kong, audio only, and German trailer. Nice. Uh, My Young Auntie. I'm excited about this one because I've never seen this movie. 
Some of these are staples. That's a, Arrow's done a really good job curating these because some of these are legit. Like all your 36th Chamber movies, Kung Fu movie fans know those movies. But some of this stuff is uh, a little bit more, what's the word, esoteric maybe? Uh, high definition. Uh, okay, so this is not a new transfer. It doesn't look like. Uncompressed Cantonese, Mandarin, and English mono. Newly translated subs. Cinema Hong Kong, The Beauties of the Shaw Studio, the final installment of the three-part documentary produced by Celestial Pictures in 2003. So that's our third of the three parts, uh, all wrapped up here. I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I first found out that all three, the, that the other two parts were on this one set, I was like, maybe they're just stopping with volume two. But uh, that does not seem to be the case. So I'm really excited to learn that. Disc seven, Mercenaries from Hong Kong and The Boxer's Omen. our features brand new 2k restoration of both films uh, same translations audio options interview with mercenaries from Hong Kong action director Tong Kai filmed in 2009 uh, brand new commentary on the boxers omen newly filmed appreciation of the filmmaker Kui Chi Hung by oh, Tony Raines again excellent stuff uh, disc 8 these are the last two movies, right? Yeah, this gate is Martial Arts of Shaolin and the Barefooted Kid. And here's our features. High definition transfer, so that's not a new transfer. These are not new transfers either. What is that, about half? About half of the, more than half have new transfers. Um, brand new audio commentary on Martial Arts of Shaolin. Uh, brand new commentary on the Barefooted Kid. Newly filmed appreciation of both films by Tony Raines. Interview with martial arts and Shaolin screenwriter Shei Yu... Shei Yong Ping, I think is how... It... Work with me, guys. I'm doing my best. Uh, alternate standard definition version of martial arts of Shaolin. That's interesting. Some of the, the first volume has some standard definition uh, options on there as well. And... That's it. I'm always interested in, in why they include those and uh, providing they they say it's you know for like historical purposes and more historically accurate representations. Uh, trailers. Okay, so here's our uh, music from the 36 Chambers of Shaolin, Five Super Fighters, Invincible Shaolin, and the Kid with the Golden Arm. And I'll hold this up and you can read that page. Freeze it. Pause it. And then there's our track listing. And then our last disc, uh, Return to the 36th Chamber, Magnificent Ruffians here. So that's the films, but we haven't even touched. I should have done that. There we go. Uh, we haven't even touched the booklet here. It's not a booklet. It's a book. I love these. These are so... If you guys are... So those of you who have this box set, like hopefully you are reading along with the books in, in, in the book. There's so much information here. Uh, it's like a, it's a stunning amount of information. It, this is the master's class on Shaw Brothers. So here's our contents here. So what have we got? They're going to go movie by movie. The Legacy of Shaw Brothers Studio by David Desser. Oh, man. I'm not going to be able to go page by page on this, probably. Though I'm tempted to. Uh, let's just see how it goes. Oh, man. Yeah, I probably shouldn't go page by page. But look, here's the way they break this stuff down. This is what I like. So here, this 36 Chamber of Shaolin, probably the most famous movie from this set, the most beloved movie from this set. So we got the cast. I'm reading backwards. Uh, the official synopsis. The film notes are fascinating. So they, it's by Simon Abrams too, really giving you context for what this movie meant when it came out. Trivia, and then name that tune. What I didn't realize is how many of these movies draw from pre-existing music from Spaghetti Westerns, from Hollywood productions. Let's see the opening notes. The opening credits are scored with the DeWolf cue, David and Goliath. Recognizable to comedy fans is the opening tune of the Attila the Hun show, the titular episode of Monty Python's Flying Circus, 1969 to 1974. 
The, most of the rest of the music is gleaned from the DeWolf album 14 Pictorial Pieces for Orchestra. Uh, uh, this is fascinating stuff. All right, so, well, for me it is. So that's what they do. For each of these, you have the, the cast, the synopsis, the notes, and then trivia and talk about, about the music because the music is a huge part of these. See if there's any more surprises in here. I also love that they always include the original posters for the film. What, uh, for those Shaw experts, uh, what would be some candidates for future, if anyone from Arrow is watching this and they're still finalizing uh, three and four, what are some movies that you would like to see in the future installments? I should also note that there are also films coming from Arrow, martial arts films, Shaw films, that aren't necessarily included in these box sets. Like they continue to release martial arts movies and Asian cinema that they're not including in the Shaw scope sets, which is interesting. Um, so if you're not, if you're only buying these, you might be missing some movies that you really want. So here, Lao, Lao Kar Lung and Modern Myth Making. What? Let's see. Ni Kuang and the Matter of China. Soundtracking the musical per. Pu Soundtracking the musical pugilistic force by Lovely John, and then Lark Haolung uh, and Modern Mythmaking. Those are the essays that are in this collection about the restorations. Okay, so great stuff. Absolutely essential. So this is a 58-page book. Uh, that's it. So this is about all we can do here in this video. But as you know, reviews will show up in various places, especially at serialatmidnight.com. You can follow us. Especially follow us. That's your, that should be your first stop for everything Serial at Midnight. Um, but also Letterboxd and the critics section of IMDb review show up there too. Uh, who has pre-ordered this? Who's excited about this? This is one of my releases of the year and I haven't even loaded the first disc yet. I just know this is going to be uh, something that is... Uh, Shosko Volume 1 was an incredible, unprecedented look at Shaw Studios for our our audience, you know, the uh, the Western audience, and this looks like it's not only continuing the tra tradition, but has actually leveled it up a little bit. I think it's it's one more movie. Um, but who's excited about this? I want to know what you guys think about these movies. I want to know what you're discovering. Uh, and remember, you can pre-order that in the, you can pre-order this set in the description of this video. Maybe I'll pin a pin a uh, link to the top of the comments as well. So if you do, you are supporting Serial at Midnight coverage like this your your uh you know hey you can also support coverage like this by thumbsing up the video and by subscribing subscribing helps us to get picked up in the youtube algorithm it helps other people to find this content and this channel and i would appreciate you for doing both uh guys let's talk about shaw i love these movies so many of us just are discovering this is for a lot of us the discovery of these sets is through the roof uh the value for these sets is through the roof so I want to know what you think about it. Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Thank you so much. Take care. Until next time, I will catch you later.